And while most pilots hope to avoid severe weather, a select few help save lives by flying near tornadoes and tracking them and alerting the public to where they are. AOPA Live's Paul Harrop takes us to Oklahoma City, where a news helicopter is a vital lifeline when the skies turn dark. Off, I see OHP. OHP is running up the road right now. He's trying to get these people cleared off. This has turned into a massive tornado. As you can see these live pictures from Bob Mills, Sky News 9. Mother Nature is not a predictable entity. It's springtime in Tornado Alley. We continue to prove, you know, I think over and over again that we live in one of the most volatile, violent places on the planet. Warm, moist air from the Gulf meets cool, dry air from the Rockies. The prairie sun cooks up convection and thunderstorms are born. Add in the right wind profile and they start spinning. Television stations break into programming, going wall to wall with coverage to warn the public in real time. This is a mesocyclone and a wall cloud underneath it. When they start rotating like the one behind me is a tornado warning gets issued, but that happens a lot in the Great Plains. So how do viewers know when to take one seriously? It takes live video to really drive home the idea. And what better way to see it than from the air? It's coming out of the water. It's now on the east bank of uh, Lake Thunderbird. That's the east bank of Lake Thunderbird, this is turning into a massive tornado. For more than two decades, Oklahomans have trusted pilot reporter Jim Gardner, who flies a Bell 407 for KWTV in Oklahoma City. I'm just on the north side of Newcastle, shooting back to the north, uh, northwest. You're looking at that tornado. That is moving towards uh, I-44 here. Jim's live look at the dangerous storms helps Chief Meteorologist David Payne drive home the situation to weather jaded viewers. It's kind of the fire that I think sometimes people need. People like, yeah, I'm looking at it on our radar, but when they see a picture, or when they see the video live of this small or this large tornado, um, it has a tendency to provoke, oh my God, you know, this, this is serious. It's right here. That's exactly what happened to the Underwood family in a southern suburb of Oklahoma City. Nine, we got power flashes, it's in a heavily it's in a heavily uh, populated area right now. I heard them say, right there, 12th Street and more. And I'm like, that's right here. That's where we live. Get in the hallway. I've been right here. We knew it was going to get close. And when it actually hit the house and we heard the grinding and the tearing of the house apart, that's when we actually opened the closet and threw them in. Had it not been for the chopper, this family would have never taken cover. That reality hits home for the young camera operator in Jim's back seat. The pictures come from the gyro-stabilized lens of photojournalist Ben Smith. He'll never forget learning that his shot helped save the family. And that was just kind of just kind of gut-wrenching, kind of heart-wrenching and, and pretty unbelievable uh, feeling to be able to have an effect on someone like that. I'm going to be coming up directly south of it. It's just a little northeast of me right now. But for all the dangers the tornadoes pose to people on the ground, Jim says the flying is all about using common sense, risk management, and careful coordination with the team of meteorologists back at the station. Is it dangerous? It only only the way you look at it. We got we got a tornado on the ground. Anything you do in, in this business is safe. You know, you just have to know your limits. You know, have to know the aircraft limits and. Uh, and it can be done safely. But for Oklahomans like the Underwoods. This is where the swings were. Uh -huh. and, then, and this is where the monkey bars were. Jim Gardner and Sky News 9 HD are lifelines. And it, it's proved that it has saved thousands and thousands of lives. If Jim Gardner wasn't showing what he was showing, I, I don't think we'd all be here. In Oklahoma City, Paul Harrop. AOPA Live. It is gone. There is nothing here. Thanks, Paul. Proof that general aviation serves America rain or shine. We should note Paul is an experienced storm chaser and don't try to get close to severe weather without the proper training.